Hey guys, and welcome to this continuation of the Auto Hotkey tutorials for beginners. In this video, we're going to see the if and else statements and how they work. So, um, basically, the if statement expects an expression right next to it. So you can say something like five plus five equals ten. And if that ev if that expression evaluates to true, you are going to execute this code. If that evaluation is not true, then you can execute another type of code. This is very, very powerful. It will allow your, your script to have um, code executed depending on certain conditions. And in this case, for example, if 5 plus 5 equals 10, which it is, you're going to get a message box that is going to tell you that it's true. If it is not, let's say that it is 5 plus 5 equals 15, which is totally false, then you're going to get a different type of result. And this is um, how this uh, the if and else statement works. Um, quick notes, the uh, if you're executing one line of code, you don't need to use curly brackets. If you're executing several lines of codes, then you have to execute, you have to put the um, um, curly brackets around it because if not you are just going to execute one line so that is that said let's um, actually see some um, examples of how is this useful so as I mentioned right next to the if statement there is um, an expression expected so variable names do not need to be enclosed in percent signs so let's actually create a variable it is empty at the moment and this is something that we need to know how some uh, how variables are evaluated and actually um, how the expressions are evaluated in general um, within an expression for the if command if the variable is empty if it is empty or zero it is evaluated to false anything else is evaluated to true so if it is one it is evaluated to true if it is more than zero like 10 for example it is going to be executed as true and if it contains text if a variable contains text it is going to be resolved to true as well um that actually brings a very curious thing if you say 5 plus 5 here without any comparison you just say 5 plus 5 it is going to evaluate to true because 5 plus 5 in this expression is returning 10 which um, is more than 0 so that is something that it is a little bit curious but in this particular case if you do not act, if you do not assign anything to variable it is going to execute false in this particular case so um, in here you can do very interesting stuff um, you can compare the con of a variable with a string and this is something that you have to note everything right next to the if statement is an expression until it arrives to that particular equal sign in which case everything on the right side is considered a string of text that's why I do not have to enclose um, this string on on quotation marks and actually if that was a variable for example if that was another variable I would have to put percent signs around it it is a little bit confusing but you can force an expression I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how you can do that but in this case I am checking the contents of that variable not the variable itself so that is going to evaluate to true and this second example is going to evaluate to false um, but let's talk about evaluating a variable several times actually before we go into that um, you can force an expression by uh, assigning uh, parentheses around um, the evaluation that you're making in which case text would have to be quoted so this is something that you have to keep in mind um, but in general that's how you do it right now you want to check whether the variable contains text and then you want to check it again if it doesn't contain that particular string you want to check it again you can do that by saying else and then you put an if right next to it and then you say var equals test 
So I want to check if the variable contains text. If it doesn't, then I want to check it again. And then I'm going to check if it is test what it uh, what it has. And at the end, you can do this as many times as you want. Um, but then at the end, if it is none of those options, then you can say else message fox var um, contains something else. Let's say that's an example. So basically, right now, I'm going to make two tests to that variable, and depending on it, I'm going to execute different kinds of code. So the first time I'm going to get this text. The second time, if I change it here, if I change the variable, I have this. And if I have something totally different, then it, I'm going to get a totally different result. So basically, um, um, this allows your script to behave differently depending on several types of conditions. This is a very powerful tool. It is a little bit more complex than this. I'm going to go ahead um, in the next video and explain some of the things. Right now, for now, this is the basics. Um, I hope that this clears some of your questions. Um, I'm going to be showing some real life examples later on in the next videos. And I hope this is helpful again. And see you again in the next video.